Uh, all right, so tell me a little bit about the brainstorming process that you went through for your project. Well, we got three things in our box. We got the 2010 Chromebook. Uh, we got a projector right over here, and we got an iPod Touch. So, base, second generation. basing our pieces of equipment on what they do and what their general functions, we decided to make a visualizer for music where we plug the Chromebook into the projector to be able to play to visualize music. Okay. Did you guys, were there any other ideas that you had before you decided on that one? Yes. Realistic exactly. ideas, maybe. Well, or not we so realistic. We did have a step before this, though, because before that, we put, well, the first thing we did was we put Promethean, in part of You brought it yeah, Ubuntu on there. It's Ubuntu. There's another piece to the project. It's not just you visualize music, it's also um, there's a streaming service. Uh, provided by Ubuntu, which is Ubuntu One, where you can actually just stream music from, say, the iPod that we've given uh, directly onto the computer, and that way you can just sort of like flip through your music on your iPod and say, oh, I want to stream this. So then, with this little thing acting as sort of like a boombox as well as like a visualizer, plug speakers, plug it into the projector, project visualizer. You know, it's it's, you know, it's just something nice to have instead of it. Okay. So, so far for your project, you've put Linux on the, uh, the Chromebook? Yeah. Yes. Okay, how about the process for putting uh, Ubuntu on the Chromebook? Was that pretty difficult? Not really. Like, there was a, I had a couple snacks, but Rick, Ricky helped me through them. Okay. So it wasn't really that difficult. All I had to do was we had to get a jump drive that was um, set up. You have to set up the, you had to set up the jump drive first so that it could be it could be used as a disk image. Like it would right. pull the disk image off there. And it would actually run it, it wouldn't just read as a file. And then when you download the disk image from the internet, change it into a disk image with disk utility on the Mac, and then you put it on to the jump drive, plug it in there and boot it from the jump drive. So is it still booting from the jump drive or did you, or did no. you install Linux it, on it the actually installed it. Cool. Alright. Which only Project. It's the Chrome Jectalizer Mark V. Now, uh, our project um, was that we were given was to repurpose old technology. What we were given, well, was a Chromebook and a an iPod Touch. Now, this is what we had, and we decided to go a little bit of a different direction than what we were given. Yes. Graphical music visualizer, public rec recreational and entertainment process. For both purposes. That means that it's we can play music and stuff, and it like makes pretty pictures, and it's awesome. It was a train wreck at first. We had to replace the Chrome OS with Linux, and then we have the problem of no memory or RAM, so it's really slow. And then yeah, and then we had to put we had to install the uh, visualizer on there, which we can only do certain ones because it didn't have the processing power to do any cool visualizers. Oh, and by no memory and no RAM, you mean just a very limited amount, not some of these swipe gears and... Yeah, and not, not, we were sabotaged by another group. Uh, Chrome OS like some yeah, other was things. incapable of running the software for I this. just wanted to know if he meant literally or if he was just... Being no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, he was being kind of wrong. So yeah, the uh, steps on doing this one thing we had to get rid of Chrome OS and replace it with Ubuntu. So, doing our research, we found out we could do this by installing the Ubuntu image file onto a USB drive, putting the USB drive onto the computer, and booting it into developer mode. You can actually run Ubuntu onto the computer, wipe it of Chrome OS, and, re and completely replace the operating system. That's what we did. Yes. And then uh, came as we research different uh, visualizers and then came to actually uh, installing uh, and building the uh, visualizer, compiling it on the, uh, in the operating system so that you know, we have a visualizer because of course it doesn't install like uh, executable. The, pro the visualizer program that we used specifically was Project M for Ubuntu 
and this one is pretty good. I think most of you have seen it before. So then we just use the projector we had to be able to just plug it into the Chromebook, and you can take it places. So to elaborate on the uses portion, you can go to pep assemblies and visualize the songs that we play during palm dances or cheerleading dances. I thought it would be cool to project it like over them while they're dancing, way more while they're dancing with it, swirly music stuff. Make them way more interesting. With the inclusion of better output systems than our uh, projector, so we can ask for Swiss Fork. And also at talent shows, like many of you have never been to one, uh, they often do light shows during the song. It would be really useful to have this to make it even more detailed and elaborate. I'm, I'm just holding my breath for that. I was just about to say, what about land parties? Yeah. <laughs> Most importantly, if you play at a land parties, you need to sell slide this way. So yeah, Through the, yeah throughout the whole project, if you, want to, if you want to talk about our project was a tale of discovery, sabotage, and success. Mm -hmm.